Yo, what is up guys? So we're finally here to check out a ton of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys have been telling me about these Troy Mares. I didn't know it was a new archetype, but uh, they got a bunch of Link monsters. So let's go and check them out. I'll give you guys my thoughts and my reactions to them. Uh, there are a ton of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We might actually have to do like a double upload uh, because... Uh, <laughs> shout out to Scarce, but... Um, uh, there's just like, I, I want to say almost like 50 new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but we got a lot to check out. Let's go ahead and go over them, see if we can find any cool combos or ways we can utilize them in our decks or just cool combos in general, but let's go ahead and get started. So first uh, off, this is again a new archetype. They're called Detroit Mares. Um, anyway, so we got the Goblin over here. So it's a Link to Wind uh, Fiend Effect Monster. This is the card over here on the left with 1300 attack and the Link Zones being left and the right. So anyways, uh, the uh, materials are going to be two monsters with different names, so that's pretty easy. And it says, if this card is Link Summon, you can discard one card during the main phase of this turn. You can normal summon one monster to uh, a zone that this card points to in addition to your normal summon or set. If this effect was activated while this uh, card was co-linked, you can also draw one card. Okay. And the second effect says co-linked monsters you control cannot be targeted by card effects. Okay. So I guess this archetype wants to be all about the co-link, because it seems like there's already like a lot of uh, bonus effects if they're co-linked. Uh, so you mitigate the Nagel one that you go, uh, so you can get another summon. Uh, anyways, next up we have the Mermaid, which is the card over here that you guys are seeing on the right. So it's uh, Link Zones on the bottom. It's a Link of 1 with a 1,000 attack. And uh, anyways, the Mermaid requires one Troy Mare monster except for itself. It says you can only use this card's name first effect once per turn. This card is linked to someone, you can discard one card, disperse from one Tremere monster from your deck. Well, that's pretty good. And then uh, if this effect was actually while this card is cool, you can also draw a card. Okay, so I guess a lot of them are, seem like they, they have that effect already, so maybe that's just like the archetype. The second effect says monsters on the field that are not co-linked lose a thousand attack and defense. So, wow. So, this is all about co-linking everything, apparently, so far at least. Uh, we got, they got, they, dude, this, this archetype already gotten so many links. Where's that? Where, do we got more? Do we got. They get six Link Monsters? Dude, and that's crazy for an archetype. Just the new... I feel like they're going to make this archetype good. Anyways, let's continue on. So this one, there's no like high resolution, so I'm sorry. It's like uh, really, really tiny over here. That's what she said. All right, this is like the, the zoomed up version. I know it's going to look like potato. But we got the uh, uh, Troy Mare Griffin here on the left. Uh, 2,500 attack. Link Zones are top, left, bottom, and right. And anyways, so... Uh, it's materials are two plus monsters with different card names. It says you can only use this card's name first effect once per turn. If this card is linked to someone, you get to discard a card, target a spell or trap card in your graveyard, set that card on your side of the field. It cannot be activated this turn. Uh, if this effect was activated while this card was cooling, you can also draw a card. The second effect says special monsters that are not cooling cannot activate their effects. Wow, that's actually really good. Uh, there's so many decks that just need, um, you know, their special summon monsters to activate their effects. But this is like, oh, dude, you're not playing Link decks? Oh, I'm sorry, too bad. That's insane. That are not linked. Cannot activate their effects. Wow. So I feel like this archetype has already got a lot of, like, potential. Um, now, it's, it says monsters with different names. Can't you just run, like, Fables and, like, all the cards you just discard one to do this? It's cool. Just go for it. Dude, this archetype is looking pretty good. Uh, specifically with Griffin. Looking pretty spicy. Anyways. Next up, we got the Troy Mare Unicorn over here, which is the uh, golden uh, horse over here on the right side with 2200 attack. Uh, link of three, the uh, Link Zones are left, bottom, and right. Uh, it says, uh, as the Link uh, materials are going to be two plus monsters with different card games. It's pretty easy. Uh, you can only use this card game first effect once per turn. If this card is Link Summon, you get to discard one card and target one card, fail, bounce back to the deck. If this uh, effect was activated while it's cooling, you can also draw a card. And then the second effect is, while you control a co-linked Troy Mare monsters, the number of cards you draw during your draw phase becomes equal to the number of those monsters with different names. Wow. I mean, majority of the time, you're going to be um, at a huge advantage if you're, you know, if you've got like four, I mean, technically, weird speaking, you could technically get six, right? 
<laughs> I mean, someone will make the deck possible um, to do it. It might be a cheesy thing to do, but can you guys, during your draw phase, I mean, if you have everything cooling, which I know it sounds kind of hard to do, but people figure out crazy combos. I mean, there's a one card elemental or stratos into getting um, the Hol Hollis uh, or uh, Hawkrithy or Hollis, whatever uh, they decided to change the name to in TCG, um, which we still haven't even gotten yet, by the way. Um, you get the, the creator god uh, one turn instant win condition. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely possible that someone will figure out how to co-link six and draw six every single turn. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but at that point, you're probably in his game state where you're running anyways. But let's continue on with the uh, Tremors. So, next up, we got the Phoenix and was that Cerberus? Yeah, okay, so it's a uh, Phoenix and Cerberus. So, uh, the Tremor Phoenix over here, it's got uh, 1500 attack, uh, Link Zone the top and the right. And anyways, so uh, materials are two monsters with different names. You can only use this card's name first effect once per turn. This card is Link Summon. You can discard one card, target a spell trap card your opponent controls, destroy it, and if the effect is activated, it's cooling drop card. Uh, second effect says cooling monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, next up, we got the Cerberus, which is the card on the right. Its uh, Link Zones are in the left and the top. Looks like it has is that 36 or 1600 attack. I think it's 1600 attack. Uh, anyways, its materials are two monster different names. You can only use first effect uh, once per turn. If this card is linked to something, you discard a card, target a special monster your, uh, in your opponent's main monster zone, and destroy it. If the effect was activated while it's calling, you can draw a card. Okay. Pretty good looking deck indeed. But uh, as far as the Troy Mares, I guess we don't even get normal, like just regular monsters that only links. Okay. I'm sure we'll get some later online. Keep in mind, guys, this is just like the first. Uh, section of uh, some new cards. We got like said, so many new cards, but that that's it for the Troy Mares, I guess. Maybe, maybe there's one. Maybe, like I said, guys, we got so many cards to check out. I mean, so many. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and check out. There is uh, some more World Legacy support. So here is like a uh, a zoomed up picture of them. So it looks like we got a monster, a trap, and a uh, spell. So let's go and check it out. So uh, the first card. Wait, does it even go over all of the card effects? Looks like uh, we don't get the trap effect. All right. Anyways, uh, maybe maybe it's on another page. Anyways, first off, we're going over the uh, monster over here, the level eight three thousand dark monster. And uh, anyways, it says you can only use this card's first and third effects once per turn. The first effect is during damage calculation when two monsters, including a link monster, are battling, you can discard this card. That opponent's monster loses three thousand attack. What? Dude, that is ridiculous! Dude, a hand trap of Nake 3000! <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... Dang. Um... It just has to be including a Link monster. You know what? There is probably some cards where it's like, the battle damage inflicted by this monster is like, doubled or something. There might be some, like, you know, funny ways to OTK with that card, and I will definitely be doing it. Um, interesting stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, next up, the second effect says your oppon uh, opponent cannot target any World Legacy monsters for an attack. The third effect says if a monster or monster is special summoned from the extra deck, special summon one World Legacy token, uh, zero, zero, to each side of the field in defense position. Okay, I can kind of deal with some of the spam stuff. That's an interesting card. Nonetheless, I think that that card is, is crazy. Um... I don't know, I just figured someone's gonna make something really hilarious with it. I think it could be a hype card. Anyways, next up we got the World Legacy uh, Inheritor. So it is the uh, normal, oh, this is the trap card. I guess we're not getting the spell effect then, right? Okay, anyways, um, the normal trap card says target one, uh, target spell and trap cards on the field, up to the number of cooling monsters on the field and destroy them. Huh, okay. Well, I guess that card can kind of work with uh, the Tremors. So the Tremors definitely seem like they want to be one of those top tier decks. I mean, it has the effect where you can just cycle through, everything like cycles through things. Uh, you can get rid of maybe some other cards. I was wondering if someone wanted to try it with Fabled. Uh, that was an archetype that was uh, kind of popular a long, long time ago. Um, it wasn't like, very like meta, but it was really popular. I know there are a lot of people that just like that deck for whatever reason. Uh, but uh, anyway, that was back in the Dueling Network days. But uh, we got some more cards to check out. Um, okay, uh, the first one's pretty easy. It's the Mech Knight Avram. It's a level four light psychic normal monster, 2000 attack, and uh, well, he's got no effect, so it don't matter. Well, I mean, he's got card decks, but let's be honest. If you want to read it, feel free. Um, next one over here. Wait, oh, was this the card that we didn't get to check out? Okay, I guess that, that effect is just, is, am I blind or is it not here? Uh, we got the effect monster. 
and I, I just don't see the effect of the uh, spell card, so hopefully they'll update that soon. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're here to check out the... Wow, this name of a card. It's probably going to be changed. Nightmare Beckoning to the World Legacy slash World Legacy Nightmare. Oh, I guess it's either or. Right, anyways, the field spell for the deck. Uh, Nightmare Beckoning to the World Legacy. Field spell says all battle damage you would take from battles involving cold-linked monsters you control becomes zero. Oh, that's kind of cool because uh, there was the card going back uh, to some of the other stuff. Uh, it, well, the monsters can't be destroyed by battle and if you take no damage. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyways... Next up, once per turn, during your main phase, you can select and activate one of the following effects. Move one Trimere monster you control to another main monster zone on your side field. Exchange the position of two Trimere monsters in the main monster zones on your side of the field. Okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, next up, we have the World Legacy Echo, which is a counter trap card that says you can only activate a card with this name once per turn. If you control a co link monster or monsters, when the opponent activates a monster effect or spell or trap effect, negate the activation if you do destroy it. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. I mean, the whole arc, right? Like, couldn't you just max out on these? Um, I mean, true, you can only activate uh, one of them per turn, but that card is just like super easy because the whole deck is about co linking. Um, dang. Uh, very, very just strong, solid card. Uh, next up, we have the uh, World Legacy Awakening or Awakening from the World Legacy. Anyways, it's a normal trap card that says you can only activate a card with this name once per turn. First effect says one, uh, which is link summon one monster using monsters you control as materials. Okay, so I guess I can change like your co link monsters to kind of uh, surprise your opponent. I, I just I don't personally see this card just seeing some play. Um, let me know, guys, what your thoughts are on it. Uh, I just If it was like link someone immediately and then like draw a card or get some other bonus effect, like, or if it banished uh, from the graveyard to do something, I just feel like it's just kind of too slow. Um, that's, again, my thoughts. But anyways, next up we have Limit Code, a normal trap card that says you only activate a card with this name once per duel. All right, it better be good. Uh, it says, if you have cybers or cybers monsters in your graveyard, place a number of counters on this card equal to the number of those monsters. And if you do, special some one Code Talker monster from your extract. And if you do, equip it with this card. Uh, when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster during your end phase, remove a counter from this card, or if you cannot remove any, destroy this card. Okay, that, that could be really interesting. Um, Definitely. All right, guys, but there are so many cards. I'm just going to go ahead and cut up for this part because uh, I really need to grab some water. I don't have some water. But anyways, we're going to be uh, – I'll upload, the, I'll upload the, the, the part two, I guess you should say, uh, very, very soon. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on it after I get some water. But uh, there's just so many cards to check out. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that that card that makes your opponent lose 3,000 attack on that monster. We could, we could think of something funny. You know what I was actually thinking about doing, guys, is since almost every deck plays Link, so it would be like the Defense Link OTK. I don't know. We'll think of something like Defend, uh, was it Defender of the Aztecs? There's there's some really good troll cards that I can think of uh, that I'll be messing around with. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part of all these new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And stay, stand by, guys, for part two. It should be up very soon from uh, me uploading this vid. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out for part one.